Okay, now we're going to do number five and six, which is so simplify by multiplying, performing the distributive property, and combining like terms. So first, we're going to have to distribute. So we're going to distribute. We get a four x times x, which is going to give us four x squared because x times x is x squared. Then we're going to do 4x times 7.2. So I'm going to do 7.2 times 4 over here. And that's going to give me 28 and 8 tenths. And there's an x also. So I have to do plus 28.8x. Okay, now we're going to go over to the second portion where it says negative um, parentheses 1 and 2 tenths x plus 3 and 4 tenths. So we're going to put a 1 in here because when there's nothing out there you need to put a 1 in there because it's an understood 1. So now we're going to do negative 1 times 1.2 and that would give us negative 1.2x and then negative 3 and 4 tenths. Okay, so now we're going to combine our like terms. There's no other 4x squared, so we can write that. 4x squared. And now we're going to combine 28 and 8 tenths x minus 1.2x, or 1 and 2 tenths x, excuse me. Got to use my correct mathematical vocabulary. All right, so I'm going to subtract that because when you add a positive and a negative, you need to find the difference. So I get 27 and 6 tenths x. And then my constant is negative 3 and 4 tenths, and there's no other whole numbers or constant numbers. So that is your final answer. We're going to move on to problem 6. First, we're going to do all multiplication. So we do 7 times negative 3x gives us negative 21x plus 9y. And now we need to distribute 3 fourths times x is 3 fourths x. And 3 fourths times negative 2y 3 fourths times negative 2. It's going to give us negative 6 fourths. And so negative 6 fourths y because there's a y right there. All right. Now we're going to combine our like terms. 21x, negative 21x and 3 fourths. So I'm going to do negative 21. Actually, we're going to find the difference. So We'll do minus 3 fourths. Okay, I'm going to make that 20 and this 4 fourths, borrowing a whole number. So I have 1 fourth here, and here it's 20. So I've got negative 20 and 1 fourth x. Now I'm going to combine my y's. I have 9y and negative 6 fourths y. So I'm going to go ahead and change six, negative 6 fourths into negative 1 and 2 fourths, which is negative 1 and a half. And when you do 9, I don't really have room to do this. Give me a second. I'm going to erase here. We're going to do 9 minus one and a half. So I borrow from that. Make that two halves. That eight and two halves is the same thing as nine. Subtract to get one half. And then eight minus one is seven. So I have plus positive seven and a half y. So here is my final answer. Erase all this work so you can see it. All right, now if you missed five or six, go ahead and go to the back side of your formative assessment and, and try to do those, and I hope you do a great job. Thanks.